In this presentation, I will show you how to transform objects in Photoshop. Transform is the process of changing an object's scale, rotation, skew, width, height, or any combination of those items. Let's say for the example that I want to take this uh, instrument and paste it into this image. I'm going to first select the image. I'll use my magic wand tool again since I've got a nice white background and then I will inverse my selection and then use my move tool to take and drag this into my image. It is quite large compared to this image so I'm going to transform it. I can go to edit I could do a free transform, which would let me do any of the individual transforms. You can see there's scale, rotate, skew, distort, and all of those others. I'm just going to do a free transform. And what it does is put a box around my object. Because it's so big, it is pretty hard to see. So I'm going to go ahead, change my magnifier tool, use my Alt key to modify it so that I zoom further out, and so that I can show you the transform box. There it is. So that my image is this big, I can take and transform this to whatever size and shape I want. You also notice that I can distort the image. Sometimes that's necessary. It's sometimes just not desired. I'm not desiring it right now, so I'm going to hold down the shift key so that it constrains the proportions of that image. I'm going to go ahead and move this around to right location. Uh, whatever size I'm happy with. We do want to avoid enlarging the image because with the resolution, as I increase this bitmapped image, it could become an issue with pixelation and the image not be as sharp. I can also rotate if I wanted to here. If you notice, when I position my cursor in different locations, the mouse cursor changes to different uh, symbols indicating what I can do with it. And if I wanted to rotate, position at one of the corners, I could then rotate this into whatever position I wanted. I could hold down the shift key so that it locks the angle into even increments so I can get it perfectly horizontal uh, or 90 degrees or someplace in between. If I remove the modifier key, then I've got the ability to position this at whatever angle I want. Well, I do want this back to being perfectly vertical, so I'll leave it there. Also, you must remember that whenever you're done transforming, it doesn't know that you're done until you press the return or the enter key on the keyboard. If you come up and try to do something and you see that your menu is grayed out, that's because you've not finalized your transformation. So simply hit the return key on the keyboard. The bounding box goes away. If you now look at your selections, almost all of them are enabled now. Others aren't enabled because we're not doing whatever is appropriate at that time. Uh, so make sure you hit the return key at the completion of your transform. That concludes the presentation on transforming in Photoshop.